Honestly, Jin is currently the most broken ADC right after Lucian. Uh, and let me prove it to you. First of all, I reached Challenger playing Jin. I mean, this is my history. Most of the last games are Jin. And let me actually let me actually show you the stats. I mean, my overall Jin win rate is 58% over 800 games. But my Jin win rate this season is 71.1%. That is crazy. That is crazy. Like that is that is a massive win rate. That's even higher than what I had on Sona. Just so you know, and this is the build. I knew, so I knew this would be the build when they buffed Stormraiser. And there's time steps in the description to skip to the gameplays. I got two games for you guys. But let me, let me tell you why this is so much better. So if we compare this to the Duskblade, right? I, I'm not talking about the damage. Let, let's not look at the damage. For, the only thing I want you guys to look at is this. Duskblade slows the enemy by 99% for 0.35 seconds. Okay, nice. You know, great. That's good. Stormraiser, 75% for 0.75 seconds. That's almost three times as long as the Duskblade. It's two and a half times as long. Obviously, the slow is not as big, but what this item will let you do, guys, now, is you can basic attack an enemy and auto-aim your second ability. If they're running straight or even slightly angled, you will always hit your root. You will always hit it. And on top of that, they buffed the damage that this item does as well. Now it's 65 to 135, which yet again, if you compare it to the Duskblade, Duskblade is 60 to 160. And the other reason is Stormraiser does magic damage. Let me give you one more reason. Stormraiser plus Mag Magnetic Blaster is going to give you a huge burst of damage on the enemy. And the beauty is it does physical damage to your attack and magical damage. So, this build is completely broken right now. First things first, you go for the Glutinous Griefs, however. I actually do have two builds. Let me quickly show you my other build. If you need a Serpent Fang, this is going to be your build. This is the, the only situation that you're going to change your build. So, as you can see, the top two games, I, I in both games, I needed Serpent Fang. You're going to then adjust your build to going Serpent Fang first, Collector second, and then you go for Infinity Edge, Magnetic Blaster, Mortal Reminder. Uh, and the boots you go for that build is the boots of Dynamism. With that other build, your ult will do ridiculous amounts of damage. With this build, your ult is really not going to do that much damage. It's more like a finisher. But this is the build. This is my old build. And I'm so excited to bring back my old build to the market and to bring it back to you guys. I am the best Jin I've ever seen on this, this server. I've never seen anyone play a better Jin than me. I'm confident saying that. So me giving you guys this build, trust me. Try it, look at how I play it, and you're gonna love it. Last item is gonna be a Guardian Angel. And for the runes, we go for First Strike. I know some people like to go Fleet Footwork on Jin. I don't. Because First Strike gives you gold. It's not even about the damage. It's mostly about the gold. Like, an extra 1,000, 1,500 gold in a game, that's like an extra 100 gold per minute. Which is great. Here we go for Gathering Storm. Reason being, Brutal is just trash on Jin. Triumph is completely unnecessary because it doesn't do extra damage. So we're just left with the Gathering Storm, which will give you... <laughs> in the late, If the game reaches late game, 21 minutes, you're gonna get like 80, 80 attack damage out of this, which is insane. Here, there's two runes we can go for. Giant Slayer or Cup of Grass. Both are good. I actually have one more Jin build. Uh, I should show you my last build as well. And here we go for Bloodline and Nimbus Cloak. And then here, Flash and Exhaust. I've decided Exhaust is better than Ghost because you have a Nimbus Cloak already. Let me show you my last Jin build. This is my last build. Um, it goes like this, like this, and like this. This is the anti-tank build. If you are playing, or you can also do it like this. If you are playing like a ton of tanks, uh, against a ton of tanks, and, and just like an extremely tanky opponent... First of all, Jin is a bad pick into that. But if you do end up against that, this is the build you go for. You don't Stormraiser is useless against tanks. Uh, you want to go for raw damage as much as you can. So Bloodthirster is going to be significantly better. But yeah, the normal games are going to look like this. So that's it about the build. Let's now get into the first gameplay. Uh, let me fix the screen real quick. Well, I haven't made a video for a week on this channel. A whole week. That's the first... This is the first time in, 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 I think, like, five years that I have not uploaded a video in a whole week. And the reason that it, the reason that I did that is because, first of all, I had three streams. All, all three streams were sponsored, which was great. And I, I also still uploaded on the second channel, Hell's Devil Plus. If you do not follow that channel yet, 
Of course, follow it, link in the description. And the other reason is I was pushing for Challenger. Yesterday was the day I was pushing for Challenger, which is the reason I didn't make any videos. Uh, I actually did make a video of the last two games. It took me like six hours to reach Challenger. I was sitting at like 52 LP and I, I, I just decided to very quickly get Challenger just to, you know, I guess prove my skill. Because some people think skill is tied to rank, so I just very quickly get the Challenger rank. Just, you know, so the people of YouTube know that I got Challenger. And even though I don't actually care about it, the algorithm cares, you guys care, so I I, I do it. Right? Like, I just do it. Um, and yeah, let me tell you, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculously strong. I, I honestly didn't think Jin would be this strong right now. Jin is my new Sona, as in like, if I want to rank up, I'll pick Jin. It's hilarious, because Sona was on such a big level of broken, and the fact that Jin for me is now on the same level really says a lot about how strong Jin really is. It's really strong, like, almost broken tier strong. No joke, I'm not joking with you guys. Almost broken tier strong. It's unbelievable. So... I'm doing a skin giveaway like always, giving away two skins on the main channel, two on the side channel. You guys have a very big chance to win on the main channel now because there's not as many videos as before anymore. So all you have to do to enter is put down a comment under the video. Uh, also give these videos a like. Like I'm putting even more effort into these videos because I played like I played like 35 games of Jin for this this build to practice this build for you guys. So if you calculate, that's like around 20 hours of work into this video just to give you guys this absolute absolute. Banger of a video by the way. It's totally worth it. I would do it any day of the week um, So the way that this build really works in the game Early game, you're not necessarily weak because inherently Jin is strong early game He just he's just strong his basic attacks hurt a lot his first ability bouncing on the minions bouncing to the enemy it, it you know, it's just a strong champion early game but we're not building any any armor penetration, any serrated dirks or anything. So essentially, you're, you're just not going to be able to snowball the lane very easily. Oh, Talon, Talon didn't didn't proc his passive. It was very close. Uh, we would have killed him, but it was we just couldn't reach him. But it's fine. It's okay. Something that I noticed is extremely important about playing Jin. That I may not have... Oh, I hit her in the bush. I knew she was backporting over there. Um, something that I'm paying even more attention to now is... I try to put every individual trap on a good spot. You know, not including this one. Because this one I'm just clearing the wave with. Which is fine too. But every single trap, instead of putting them just randomly down. I really try to think, okay, where do I want this trap? Do I want this trap to pop when they walk into it? Do I want this trap to not pop so it keeps giving me vision? Do I want this trap to give me vision of the enemy blue buff? Do I want this trap to give me an escape path? So like if I walk across the wall, they walk into the trap, I can escape. All of these things I think about now, which makes all of the traps that I put down so much better than the random traps. Even though you're not necessarily getting more vision, because you know, you're putting down the same amount of traps, you're actually utilizing the traps much more if you truly think about each individual trap and putting it down. Um, so just like right here, I'm just putting it down. The reason that I put it down is I want to bait the Jinx into walking into it to potentially root her into it. Potentially. And I wanted to do it for the Talon, but unfortunately she immediately procked it, which I did not think she would do to be honest. Um, but I wanted to keep it there to sort of bait them into it and then they would walk into it I root them and Talon kills them. That was my idea. You see like what I'm trying to say to you guys Every trap has a good idea right now Boom, he's rooted and then we walk into his ultimate range and we kill him. This trap is to give vision of his jungle Good trap, right? Like uh, uh, up until now we only have good traps Lulu Jinx is kind of annoying by the way but it's not annoying enough for me to go for Serpent Fang. Lulu doesn't give that many shields. It's not that bad. You know, if you're against a Karma or like a Janna or, so or so Sona, uh, then you need to think about going for that um, Serpent Fang. But I mean, only one small shield is not going to do it for me. I don't need it. Here again, look, I'm trying to sort of bait them into walking into it. And then I want to do something with it. Like, I want to root them into it. Yeah, you see? My idea was if they walk into it, but they're not stupid. These enemies are not stupid. Ah, uh, I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. You see, these enemies are not stupid. If they were stupid, they would walk into my trap. I would root the Jinx into the trap. I would ult her and probably kill her. Like, I'm telling you, you know how many kills I've gotten that way? 
where I simply put down a trap and then the enemies just walk into it to try to clear it. Then I root them and I- oh, oh my god, Baron just killed both of them. And then I just root them into the trap and I kill all of them. It happens so- oh wait, that's not Baron. That's not- uh, for some reason I thought it was Baron because every game Baron has been playing Talon with me and I've been- oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, um, most of the games that I played to reach Challenger were duo and trio queue. Although I do want to say I could do it solo queue too. Um, it doesn't really make any difference to me. The only reason I'm playing duo and trio queue is because I love playing with my friends. But like, I'm telling you, it doesn't make a difference. It only makes a difference. Let me tell you when it does make a difference. If you're playing with an extremely good player, and this extremely good player is on a new account, um, then it makes a difference. Because then you have a player in your teammate with a low MMR that plays better than his MMR. I would say this is the only situation that playing duo in trio queue makes a difference. If you're, if that player is way better than his MMR, because you know why that's better? Because the enemy is then gonna get a similar player with similar MMR, who's obviously gonna be worse than your team. Ah, I misclicked my ult. I obviously didn't mean to aim it like that. I wanted to aim it properly. And as I said, catching people in a trap like that is... is I've, I've killed so many people like that. I've killed so, so many people like that. But yeah, unfortunately, I just aimed it in a very weird way. Ooh, what was that? That just happens sometimes. Oh, and Jin has one of the best. Right here too. If I had caught that Lulu under the turret... You see, like... You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect human being. Um, but regardless, you can still get a 70 plus percent win rate on Jin. You don't gotta be perfect. You just gotta be near perfect. No, not necessarily. You just gotta be perfect when it matters. During a teamfight situation, when the stress is high, you really gotta hit all of those skill shots. Like... It's important. You're gonna miss out on kills when you miss roots. And miss your ults. Like you you really I'm especially I got especially good at hitting my ults, by the way. That's that's also a skill that I didn't used to have back in the days. You know why I was not always very good at I was good, but not like as good as you know as I should be with hitting my ult on Jin. I always preached about crit Jin, and crit Jin is mainly about basic attacking the enemy. Your ult is not that important. Um, important. When you play true damage Jin. So when you go Dusk Blade, you must Ghost Blade, etc, etc, etc. Then your ult will do like three times more damage. So then obviously it's extremely important you, you hit your ultimate properly. So when you go for that build, automatically you're gonna really do your best to hit your ult rather than focus on your basic attacks. There was a moment that, you know, true damage Jin was better than normal Jin. You see here I missed my root, we missed the kill. You see that? And I chose to show you guys this game. Let me tell you, I've had many games where I absolutely snowballed the enemy. But I ain't gonna show you guys that. If you wanna see that, you can check the Hell's Devil Plus channel. There are some Jin videos over there too. I'm of course not gonna show you guys that here. Why is there a hair in my coffee? What the hell? Where did that hair go? Ah, who cares? I'm not gonna die by drinking her. Ah! It just went into my mouth. <coughs> Ugh, why did it immediately go in my mouth? I didn't even take it out. Oh, here it is! <laughs> nice. Okay, it's out. Um, so yeah, I showed you guys this game because this game was a struggle. An absolute struggle, a nightmare game, really. Because up until now, you can see it's going quite well, but let me actually fix my screen even more. This game was a night. The second game was beyond a nightmare. The second game was beyond a nightmare. It was ridiculous. But the beauty of this is you will actually outskill almost every. Ah, uh, I'm probably dead. I'm quickly exhausting him, dodging his second ability, not basic attacking him. I'm just running away. And the reason that I'm not basic attacking him, because if you may know, Jin's passive, listen carefully. If you crit on an enemy champion, you gain bonus movement speed for two seconds. Okay? And this movement speed skills with how much attack speed you have. Now, if we look at this build that I have, it's really not a lot of attack speed, right? So, and also, I don't have a lot of crit yet. Oh, beautiful. You see, this is what I mean. You hit those roots, it results into kills. But even if I would have crit, the chance was like 65% for me to crit, which is low. Uh, 
Uh, sorry, 35% for me to crit, which is very low. But let's say even if I crit, the bonus movement speed I get is not worth me having to stand still to basic attack an enemy champion. So that's why in that situation, I didn't even bother attacking Jinx. I just tried to dodge everything. That was my only chance of escape, and I did it. I want to go back, get the red buff, and get my infinity edge. I quickly went to the red buff because I thought maybe it will go away. And now I should backport. Seems like I'm quickly taking jungle just to be useful, I guess, to do something. And now I should go back, get the infinity edge very quickly. I want to go back, but they're fighting, so I'm not going to go back. I know there's infinity edge at home, but uh, they are fighting. So, I, I like, I know I'm leaving an infinity edge, but... If my team is fighting, I don't want to let them all die. Oh, I hit her. Come on. Oh, I was close. Lulu, Lulu body blocked everything. Pretty sure I would have hit the Jinx, right? Pretty sure I would have hit the Jinx otherwise. Oh, you see, I tried to cheese him there as well. Ah. Infinity Edge. Next up we go. The Magnetic Blaster is so good, guys, because you, you can bully the enemies. It sends a, it sends lightning through all of them and it does so much damage to the first target especially. So just having the Magnetic Blaster is not only good for bursting down an enemy, just actually good for poking down enemies. You can genuinely poke with this item. It's very, very good. And the later you get, the better it gets too. Because every time you basic attack, you get bonus movement speed from the passive. So... You're gonna be hella fast, which means you can stack up your magnetic faster super quickly and just use it multiple, multiple times in a team fight. Right here, we're just quickly rushing down this Baron because their jungler for some reason is in mid lane. Yes, free. I have no idea what that Sinshao is doing. He did get a mid turret, he did get a top turret, but is that really worth? Is that really worth giving us the Baron? We should be able... Can we actually end the game? No, we can't really end the game. We're 12 minutes into the game. Um, as I said, you you do want to watch all of these till the end. You do. Because I don't want to spoil, but you do. I do remember what happened this game. But I ain't going to say anything to you guys about it. Anything at all. I'm split pushing. Um, I want to get the most out of- Oh, and there we go. Now it starts. Now it starts. Now it starts. Triple kill for Jinx. Why did they overextend that far? I was split pushing top. I would get a free turret. They could have just played it safely. Look, Talon is split pushing bot lane. We would have gotten every turret. And Yasuo is saying we splitting. Why? Well, the reason is obvious. They can defend. We cannot end the game. It's not like we can end the game. We would have gotten the mid inhib, but what would you rather get? Mid inhib or all the side inhibs? And then maybe also the mid inhib. I want to just get the wave here. I'm just ulting for the wave, as you can see. But it's not enough. Lulu Jinx is starting to come online this game, and now we actually have a big problem. Because now, their ADC is going to be a whole lot stronger than me. And this is bad. This was a useless, this was a useless Baron. Yeah, he says no split, 5v5 better. Thank you. He's completely wrong. He's wrong. Like, this is this is not right. Um, they just died for no reason. Which is bad. Like, that's that's <laughs> that's real, real bad for us right now. Because we gave that Jinx a triple kill. She's gonna have she's gonna have more gold than me now. I think we already have two dragons. So, may, this third dragon could be a win condition for us, but like... Yeah, now they are gonna split push. Now the enemies are gonna split push. Someone needs to take care of the split pushing. And Yasuo... I had to. I had to. If he hit me, I was dead. So I had to... Um, unfortunately, he made me waste my flash. I'm just getting my Magnetic Blaster, so I'm gonna be really strong during the fight. And now I'm rotating. All they have to do is just not fight until I'm there, which takes like 5 seconds. So... Okay, just take the dragon, that's good. Just take the dragon. Good. Now we can fight. Yeah, very nice. Although, our top lane is being pushed. Hopefully no one is rotating to top, because that would be kinda bad. Again, like as you can see, I'm not trying to waste my time chasing enemies. I'm trying to... There we go, there we go, there he is. I knew it. That's the thing. I knew it, even in the game. I knew someone would do that. Which is why I was very hesitant to all in. And then I was like, yeah, good one, Yasuo. He's the top laner. He needs to take care of this. Team fighting is... You know, okay, I get it. You want to team fight a lot. 
But that's not always the win condition. Like right now, yeah, 5v5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he, he's gonna think it's not his fault, right? He's gonna think it's not his fault that, that he didn't rotate as the top laner to the enemy top laner. He says, yeah, we got Drake. That Drake doesn't matter. It's not the third Drake. It's a useless Drake. It's completely useless. Like, giving away this dragon doesn't matter. Side in hip is not useless. So, like, you can see, even though we're winning hard this game, we're actually... Yeah, like, you can see how he's complaining about stupid stuff. I'm not gonna discuss with him anymore. I'm just talking about our win condition this game, which is not letting that fizz end the game. Like, look, Yone is pushing again. He has to go back. I'm telling him, you need to be bot now. Because Yone is pushing bot. Someone needs to go bot. Because even if we get the Baron, Yone can get the bot in hip. So we're just taking the Baron. We give Yone a turret, which is fine but someone should have stopped him because now he just gets a turret for free you can just go back and you can see now we have to do it with top pressure and now it's all of a sudden not gonna be as easy for us to end the game anymore i'm gonna split push again of course um says i split you lose i'm pretty sure i i'm pretty sure without the yasuo we can win this game right now oh they're rotating to me oh Look at my damage. I dodged the Yone ult. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful Soraka ult. Beau ah, the Jinx ult killed me. Oh, I I'm just trash talking. <laughs> uh, honestly deserved. You know what? I don't like trash talking. But honestly, honestly deserved. Honestly, this one was deserved. That was actually a beautiful Soraka ultimate. She's like, If she didn't do that, I would not have... Um, But then again, they're losing to the Jinx. Oh, they did kill Jinx, which is great. They can't really end the game because Fizz is a lot. Uh, if Talon kills Fizz. Oh, close. I don't. Yeah, they cannot end the game now. But you see, you see the difference between a proper Baron and the first Baron. The first Baron was stupid. The second Baron was good because we were split pushing. We got bot in hip. We got top in hip. That's fine. See, now we have a lot of pressure off of our backs. We took two in hips. You know, the side in hips, they're more important than the mid in hip. Now we can at least, we have, a, we have a little bit of breathing room. The Elder Dragon is spawning, which, you know, we need to stop. But the question is, can I even stop the Elder? They're gonna start Elder here. Uy, 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 this is bad. I could put a trap, but I gotta be careful of them engaging on me. Thank you for the old Soraka. like that just like that just like that and we go back and we go back we silence the haters without saying anything i don't even say anything and i steal that elder just like that perfectly timed perfectly timed that was just oh that was just what can i say there's no I don't gotta say anything. That was just beautiful. That was just beautiful. And now... Now we can 5v5. Now we're gonna win the 5v5. Because now we have Elder. I mean, Yasuo dies, but... No one cares about the Yasuo. But now, look at now, look at now. There, like, there, there we go, there we go. Look at, like, Jinx does a lot of damage, but now, you see? Now we kill everyone. Now it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh! Ah, uh, you're dead anyways. Boom. Fizz is ulting me. Exhaust. There we go. It's that easy. It's that easy. It's that easy, the game. You split push until you have a proper advantage. Then you're 5v5. And now we just end the game. So I have another game for you guys. Don't leave the video yet. The other game is even more crazy than this one. Uh, I feel like this one was a cool story to show you guys this game. So that's why I saved this one uh, to get, show you on YouTube. <laughs> So let's see how much damage I did and everything like that. I wonder how much how much LP I had at this stage. I played this game like a week ago. This was this game was not played during my tryhard period. Yeah, 44 LP. So this was not a tryhard game. Um, not quite yet. So let's see. She deserved MVP, by the way. She played very well. Did I report Yasuo for the classic? Oh yes, of course. Nice.
All right, let's go to the next one. Um, that's gonna be... This was the one that I just watched. That's gonna be this one. Yes. Oh, I was playing with the top one Blitzcrank here. This is with the top one Blitzcrank of EU. He's playing on his Smurf account. Funny thing, his Smurf account right now is the top two Blitzcrank. So he is top one and top two, which is quite ridiculous. Um, so yeah, now I'm playing with a Blitzcrank. I love playing Jin with a good Blitzcrank. Because, of course, Blitz gets a hook, you get a kill. It's as simple as that. I won almost every single game with this guy, honestly, that I played with him. We, we won so many games. He's such a menace on Blitzcrank, it's ridiculous. And then, like, if you combine my Jin with that, it's ridiculously broken. Like, him landing so many roots, uh, sorry, him landing so many hooks, and then me following up with the roots, it's just such a broken combination. Because, of course, I go for a late game build. And if you win early game with a late game build, you're going to be set up pretty well in most games. I don't want him to hook him now. I'm pinging him to not go in, because this doesn't make any sense. We're not really going to be able to do much. Actually, actually, never mind. I, so, I, I'm going to tell you what I thought during this game. I thought he's wasting time. I thought we're not going to be able to do anything. I still followed him up, however, because, you know, I always tell you guys this. I would rather make a mistake together with my team than make a good play myself. And this is a perfect example. I thought it was a mistake. Okay, it was not a mistake, but I thought it was a mistake. I still went for it. We ended up killing the Lucian because actually it was not a mistake. So even if you think something is maybe not the right play, I, I really thought this was the wrong play. Like I was 100% convinced. I was genuinely 100% convinced, but I still went for it for the chance that it may work out because I, otherwise he just dies for free. And we actually got that kill, you see? Like, that's why I tell you guys, you want to make a bad play together, a bad play, it was not even a bad play, but you see, we ended up getting a kill right there, because I followed up the call from the Blitzcrank. So this was like a perfect example to, to what I always preach in my videos, like make the bad play together, the bad play may not even be a bad play, and even if it is a bad play, it, it's probably still going to be better, oh, that's going to bounce on them, oh, it bounced on both of them, it did so much damage, the double bounce, Karma is nearly dead already, because of those bounces that I did. You can really bully the hell out of these enemies with your first ability on the third. I'm gonna stop her backboard, by the way. Uh, pretty sure I am. Yep. There we go. Karma cannot backboard now. I can shove the wave. And Karma, Karma's gonna be here very late. Which is gonna result into her losing farm. Losing gold. Losing experience. Losing everything. And I just get the free turret plate. Perfect. Can even maybe get two turret plates. If I had attacked the turret the entire time, I would have gotten two. I still got two. Okay, good. Boom. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I need to root him. I did. I'm still dead. I'm just running away. <gasps> oh, no. So close. He hooked the Riven under the turret. Ah. They have vision over there. We almost killed Riven, but they ganked us. That was a bit unfortunate. It's fine, but... It just kind of sucks. I wonder how you guys are enjoying this new format. I'm gonna work on a really cool video now that I'm gonna upload like in a couple of days on the main channel. Um, I wonder what you guys think about this new way of me doing videos. You know, do you guys enjoy the Hell's Devil Plus videos? Do you guys enjoy this lower frequency on the main channel? So the videos are gonna be g generally higher quality. Um, kind of curious to hear your thoughts. But as I said, I'm, I'm working on a very cool video that I've never made before, which I think will be very, very nice for you guys. Uh, I'm, gonna re I'm gonna work on that today, actually. I'm very hungry. Oof. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the current uh, process in my diet where I'm cutting weight. So my diet coach, the one that I'm going to work with to give to coach you guys as well, um, is actually giving me very little amounts of food. So I'm very hungry all the time. But I'm getting lean. It's it's working. Like it's working. But it's, it's, it's not easy though. I'm getting very, very lean. Like, you can see my six-pack now. It's pretty... It's crazy. It's actually pretty crazy. Ooh. Someone has... Um, zombie ward. So I gotta be careful putting down those wards. Giving them free zombie wards. Yeah. It's, I'm pretty sure it's karma with the zombie ward. 
Because she has the control art. Ah, sad. We missed that meme. I'm just always ready for him to hook someone here, by the way. I'm immediately gonna follow up if he hooks. Oh. Ooh. I wanted to cancel their backboards, but they didn't backboard where I thought they would. Now I wasted my root, which was actually a pretty bad idea by me. I wasted my root. I'm dying to this karma. Oh my god, I honestly did not think she would kill me. I of course could have flashed away, but I genuinely did not think that would have killed me. But she does so much damage. Up until now, you can see this game is going pretty badly. Like, what do you do in a game like this, right? We all know what you do if you're snowballing the lane, which is what I do almost every game, by the way. But what do you do in this type of game, right? Well, what is it that you're gonna do? So we're, I'm with a Blitzcrank. It depends on, on who your support is. If you're with an Enchanter, you want to play it safe, farm up, and outskill the enemy, right? Like if you're with a Janna, with a Soraka, Sona, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're, you're likely going to outskill the enemy. But if you're with a Thresh, with a Pike, with a Blitz, with a champion like that, with an Alistar, even if you're behind, you're going to have to look for opportunities to catch the enemy. You cannot just play it safe because you're not necessarily going to outskill a Karma and, and whatever ADC the enemies have. Oh, I need to flash out of this. Blitzcrank is behind the turret. Oh my god. So here you can see I'm still trying to look for opportunities with the Blitzcrank to hook people under the turret or something So you can see I'm not running away. Look, I'm not running. I'm not running me and the Blitz were fighting. You see? Ah, oh, It's fine. It's fine. But th there you go because it's a Blitzcrank. It's not an enchanter We can look for opportunities like this because it's a Blitzcrank. He can he can hook people under turrets He can hook people. I can root them. It's a Blitzcrank, right? Although I'm probably not gonna follow up this, because this is too far. This is, if I followed that out, I would have died. I would have died, like 100%. Oh! So there we go. I just got a double kill, even though we're very behind in the third. Because even though Blitz is 0-3, now we're doing fine. Now we're doing fine. Because we're not playing it safe, you gotta keep playing aggressive with a Blitz or a Thresh. Of course you wanna do it in a calculated manner. We don't wanna be aggressive like in the middle of nowhere we want to be aggressive hooking them into our turret with an alistar you can be aggressive in the turret of the enemy because of course alistar can tank it but again you gotta calculate it all you, you can't just do it you gotta calculate it all but that's how you have to play it so with an enchanter if you're behind if you're playing Jin, you just gotta farm with with like a hooking champion or like an engage or uh, any tank that can engage like leona even you want to look for aggression even if you're behind. But calculated aggression. And this is incredibly hard to do. I do want to say this is hard. Because if you mess this up, you're both just going to die for free. Again, and again, and again, and again. But if you do it correctly, you're going to make a comeback by killing enemies. i got to be very careful of this Zoe, by the way. Wow. She just kills me. She used flash, but it's fine. He killed her back. It's fine. I got an assist. It's okay. It's really not that bad. As you can see, I have seven and a half K gold. Like in a game where I died three times, that's a lot of gold. I have the most gold on my team, and that's because we're just keeping the farming up, and we're maintaining aggression. Well, if I played this game safe, I would have I would have been stuck at my old score, one on two. I would have probably been one on three now, which means I would have had like a thousand gold less, which also means I'm gonna be weaker. So again, you, like here as well, I'm looking for something. I, I root him and I ult him. Come on, I just got a hit now. Okay, that's fine. You see, we get a kill out of nowhere. You always gotta have your eyes out on aggression. Blitzcrank knocks up someone, I root them from downtown. That's actually pretty funny what happened right there. He, uh, he pulled them out of my root. I should have calculated it a bit better. I should have waited for his hook. I thought his hook was on cooldown. That's why I did it like that. I'm waiting for his knockups or something. Oh, she flashed out of it. He didn't have a knockup, so I just tried to root, but the Riven actually just flashed out of it. Oh god, this is bad. Did you see that little fourth shot on the Oh my god, what is that damage? Ah, oh, he flashed on me, I'm dead. But it's fine. Like this is all fine, you see? All of this is okay. This this is this game is such a good example of how you want to play Jin in a situation where you're where you're not like super ahead. This is exactly... He just walked into the Zoe sleep? Wait. What? He just walked into it. 
Twisted Fate just suicided into the Zoe trap. Why did he do that? What the hell? Why the hell did he do that? Oh god, I gotta do my taxes. Oh god. Oh god. Now that's the, that's the most fun period of your life, isn't it? When you see your bank account getting drained the hell away because you have to pay taxes for the year. Oh god. Oof. Well, I'm glad business is going well. I'm not complaining. But uh, yeah, those moments when you gotta pay taxes. A lot of you guys, you know, for the people that work, a, you know, a normal job, you're not really gonna know, you're not really gonna feel the taxes because you're just kind of used to, to standard pay taxes every month. Like, the salary you get is after taxes, so you just, you just get that money and that's it. But for people that work for themselves, you know, obviously you're just gonna get the raw money. And then you have to pay the taxes, right? Like, you have to do your taxes or you have an accountant. I have an accountant. Um, and then you can see, like... 30 40 percent of your money just go away it vanishes it's like it's gone he still caught me but at least i made him go under the third maybe set can kill him so yeah that's what's gonna happen uh that's what's gonna happen in the coming days <laughs> uh i don't think he can kill him can he if he has ult yeah he can't By the way, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you like the video. Also, again, put down a comment for the skin giveaway. I know I said it before, but I'll say it again very quickly. So why not? But yeah, I want to say the likes really support the channel a lot. Like, the videos, they get pu they get pushed by the algorithm when you guys do that. I mean, the main thing is if you guys enjoy the videos, if you watch a lot of the video. But I cannot ask you to watch the whole video. I just have to make a good video so, you, know, so you guys watch as much of it as possible. Um, but then you have secondary metrics, which is, as I said, the likes, the comments and stuff like that. Oh, I missed. Come on. Oh, come on. I thought it would... Ah, that was not a good ultimate. That was a battle. I missed every... Root? Oh, she QSS. If she didn't QSS, that was an easy kill. It was a beautiful QSS by the Riven right there. Damn. That was actually really well played by the Riven. The QSS saved her. Well, then it, it let her kill me. And you know what the beauty of the Storm Razor is too? When you're running away from an enemy, Storm Razor, if you just basic attack with that Storm Razor, it slows them and it lets you actually run away quite far away from them. So then you can basic attack them, you run away, they're slowed, and then you can root them as well, and then you can keep running. That's another good thing about Storm Razor right now. The slow is actually so significant that you can utilize it to, to run away from the enemy. Not easily, but you can run away. They got Baron, by the way. What the hell? They just got Baron. Just like that. One second, my dog wants to come in. Let me actually bring it. See, I'm, I'm, I'm being a bit safe here, to be honest, because I just don't want to get caught by them. Even though I told you guys you don't want to be safe, uh, the reason I'm being a bit safer here is because they have Baron. You can see my positioning is very defensive just right now. And the reason is, yeah, as I said, Baron, and I can just defend against the Baron. And if the Blitzcrank hooks someone, perhaps from far away I can do something. Hey, this is the reason. This is the reason why I'm being safe. Like, I just nearly got one shot by Zoe. Without even being put asleep. Oh god, this is bad. Yeah, they're dying one by one now. But it's fine, like, we're wasting enough Baron time. Ooh, the Jack split pushing is not fine, though. He's gonna get turrets. Yeah, this is annoying, but we're defending fine. It's okay. But yeah, this, this is the only situation I would say you want to be defensive. Also, if the enemy has Elder, you want to be very, very cautious. Because Elder is really, really powerful. You, you, you don't want to fight... You don't want to fight a fair fight with Elder. You would only want to fight if it's like if you have an unfair advantage in a fight. So, for example, under your turret, or if your Blitzcrank hooks an enemy, 
you don't want to just take them head on. Because you're likely going to lose against a team with an Elder Dragon. You got the Magnetic Blast. That's my third item. This is when the build comes online, by the way. Third item is when this build truly becomes strong. Actually, four items is when it actually truly, truly becomes strong. But three items is when you can start to feel this build become hella strong. Blitzkrank already stole a dragon, which is... So, like, we don't really care about this dragon. Oh, he pushed him out of my route. Yeah, you can see. Riven, easy kill. I do enough damage to just kill this Riven. My positioning is very important in this fight. You can see, I'm just looking for the free kills. I could maybe flash to the Zoe and kill her here. But I'm not gonna dive into that. This Jax is very dangerous now. Oh, I need to flash over. There's no way he catches me, right? Come on. Okay, nice. I think the set is not very uh, happy with the things he's sending in the chat. That doesn't look very happy. Is that force? Would that fourth shot suffice to kill that Zoe? I don't know. I don't actually know. I think she doesn't want to know either. Because potentially that fourth shot could just chunk her down from half life to zero. It does so much damage. The Storm Razor fourth shot is, is such a big hit. But you can see like the difference between my average Jing game and this game. My positioning is actually quite defensive. It's not that necessarily me playing defensive. My positioning is just a bit defensive because Zoe can one shot me from anywhere. Jax can jump on me and kill me. So like here you can see I just do that and I'm, I'm just a little bit maintaining distance. I'm just making sure I'm behind my tanks basically. And then here I can just do damage. But again, stay away from Jax. That's my that's that's my that's what I have to do. I hit that root beautifully. Okay, good enough. A run from the Jax. And fourth shot, fourth shot. Okay, he's dead anyways. Good. Very, very good. You can see if they choose to dive me, my entire team can collapse on them. So, like in this situation, as I said, I know you're gonna do less damage in a team fight if you play like this. But if you're against a champion that can just easily take you head on, like a Jax or a Fed Lucian, or, or, or like a champion that can easily one shot you, like an Annie or, or Zoe, you do want to play it a bit defensive. Like, you do want to be a bit defensive. You're always going to be ready for action, but you have to position properly. Otherwise, you're just going to die on respawn and you just can't do anything. You just literally cannot do anything. So even with this Baron, I'm taking it nice and easy, stealing away their jungle. Just, you know, getting myself fed in this game. And then, I don't know, TF is going back probably to buy an item. We can try to keep pushing bot, but then again, we do have to be careful because me and Blitz together are not going to be able to hold all of them, even with the Baron. It's just not going to work. This Riven's positioning is bad. Oh, if he hooked her, that was a kill. My positioning is also quite bad now. So I'm just, again, maintaining proper position here. I rooted him all the way in the back line. I want to ult, but not quite. Boom, boom, come on. No way. Karma shield saved him. That's another elder. I can steal another one? No, okay. No, that, 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 would be, that would be too much. But you can see even with the Baron, we're not actually winning the fight. It's quite ridiculous, isn't it? So this game is extremely rough. But, good news, we got the four item power spike. Now we're going to start one-shotting people. Even like, tankier people. Now the fun begins. Now, like, you know, the fun has already begun. But now the real fun begins. This is this is the real fun moment. Oh, Jin can also steal objectives from uh, from uh, junglers with fourth shot, with first ability fourth shot. It does more damage than most smite combinations of enemy junglers. Oh no, he's on me, the Jax, the Jax. I immediately exhaust him. Very good ult by the by the Lee Sin. Position playing around the trap, as you can see. Boom, boom, fourth shot. Ah! I killed the Zoe too, with a trap. I ah, oh, Jin, uh, that's loot. Like this is what I'm talking about. This is what, oh. Did you see that flash combo? They can end the game. Why are they not ending the game? Why are they not ending the game? End the game. Why are they not ending the game? They can end the game through bot lane. <laughs> end the game. There we go. 
even mid lane, you can end it through mid lane too. They should have enough time. Yeah, they have enough time. Tank the Nexus, there we go. Just die for the Nexus, who cares? There we go, we actually won this game. What an amazing game. Let's take a look at how much damage I did. This was such a, like, I feel like these two games told such a good story in this video. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome of this one. Especially because it's a Jin video. So let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. I think I played this game also during the non tryhard period, I think. Let's see. Yeah, this was also during the non tryhard period. Um, the tryhard period were a lot more snowball type of games. So there we go. Uh, that's how much damage everyone did. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next video.